jazz's sheet music, mate. I listen to the stereophonics. So, what's your thoughts about buying a toy based on three seconds of footage from a 40-year-old cartoon? You're into it? Great. I know we've already had a look at Studio Series 86 Jazz, but is it worth buying an other Jazz just for an ultra-obscure alt mode that looks like a dustbuster? Well, I got him, so I think so. Was that a good move? Let's see, huh? Buzzworthy Bumblebee Origin Jazz is based in the time he went up a wee lift whilst in the Cybertronian alt mode. Uh, that's it. It's a very obscure scene to reference. Everyone has really been screaming for a Cybertronian alt mode wheeljack to go with their Origin Bumblebee. But Hasbro, in their infinite wisdom, skipped that and gave us Jazz instead. I I'm really not complaining. Give me more obscure stuff. How about an official lamppost sound wave? Uh, let's not stop there. How about a figure of the pig snake bounty hunter fella from the third season? How about some G2 guys? Maybe even a G2 jazz? Oh my, oh no, 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 no. Uh, th th that's just too far. My eyes are melting out of their sockets like the bad fella from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Straight in the bin with that abomination. So, how does Origin Jazz fare? He's awesome. I know I'm always overly positive about my wee fellas. I'm definitely more of a few than a perspective end, but I really think Origins Jazz deserves it. Look at this robot mode. It is so good. Jazz's head sculpt somehow looks better than the Studio Series version. I think it's a slightly darker blue of the visor and these wee lines on his cheeks. It makes him look dead cute, especially combined with his wee teddy bear ears. What a wee sweetheart. His full bonnet uniboob is much more slender than the Studio Series version, making Origins Jazz seem more athletic. In comparison, Studio Series Jazz looks like Bob from Fight Club. I love how his chest headlights are separate pieces of transparent plastic instead of just being painted on. Great wee nipples in this boy. His Autobot badge isn't outlined in white like the Studio Series version, so it's a bit less prominent. Plus, Mines has a wee paint mishap. I hope the wee Chinese fella who painted this, working for two pence an hour, sees this video and is super embarrassed about it. Oh yeah, y you can't get YouTube in China because it has videos about Winnie the Pooh. And since he started ruling China, he wants to forget about his past with Christopher Robin and Piglet. A real shame, that. Jazz's wee hands can rotate round, revealing these wee ports that you can plug in his grapple hook accessory. Quite an obscure reference again, he used that grapple hook for two seconds once, so obviously it was an essential addition for this toy. The wee ports are fun to stick other things in, though. Not like that, get your mind out the gutter. Here's a wee hook. He's like a wee pirate, that, that's fun. Arr! Oh, Jesus, what have I become? I've got a bloody degree. The only thing that slightly annoys me about Origin Jazz is his shins. The alt mode kibble cuts into the sculpted detail and makes them look a little weird. I'd defo call him out for it if he was on Drag Race. It's not the worst, but Studio Series Jazz definitely wins the best legs competition. It's very difficult to pick a winner between Origins and Studio Series Jazz's robot modes. Origin Jazz feels amazing. His joints are tight and his posture makes him look a lot sleeker. But Studio Series Jazz is more accurate to the source material and overall looks more cohesive with his kibble management. Off, Shantae, you both stay lads. You are both winners, baby. So here's the main event. Origin Jazz turns into the Cybertronian hover car. To be completely brutally honest, I absolutely love it. I know it was only in three seconds of the show and it looks like the aforementioned Dustbuster, but this is bloody fantastic. It looks like it would be the best car in F Zero. I bet Jazz and Blur would kick Captain Falcon's arse. It looks so sleek and aerodynamic, I could see this as an expensive sports car in the Star Wars universe. Maybe if Emperor Palpatine wanted to do some street racing on the side. I love the colours here. The bright white and dark blue are so quintessentially jazz. His wee dustbuster front grill looks adorable and there's a great wee Autobot badge just under his clear blue windscreen. His spoiler at the back is super chunky, giving the car the impression of having a big old sexy booty. Like Billy Gunn from the wrestling, I'm an ass man, so I'm super into it. 
like your old granda snaffling up his bowl of morning porridge. Transformation can be a bit tricky. These big clear pegs need to be plugged in with a bit of force and it gives me the fear. It really reminds me of uh, Studio Series 86 Ironhide. It's made of really thick clear plastic though, so hopefully this won't crumble to dust the second time you transform him. A wee tip to get him back to robot mode, pull the front bit down a wee bit, then swing the doors back. I didn't do this the first time and both the doors pinged off with sufficient force to kill a passing Kestrel. So, should you get Origin Jazz? Yeah, he's great and even worth getting if you have the Studio Series version. You need this wee op mode in your life. Let's all collectively wish Hasbro gives us Origin Wheeljack now. Preferably featuring an op mode, Origin's Bumblebee can slide right inside. Again, not like that. You're bloody filthy, you know that? Anyway guys, you have a great night. Catch you later.